Hi friends, it's story time. I'm glad you're here. Today we have a book about bunnies. It's called Too Many Rabbits. This book is by Peggy Parrish and the pictures are by Leonard Kessler. There is someone holding a bunny. Doesn't that look so soft and cozy? Look at her face. Look at the bunny's face. But wait, the title said too many rabbits. So there must be more than one. Hmm, let's find out what happens. Here's a few more rabbits on the title page. Too many rabbits. There's a couple jumping. And there's a couple in the grass. There are a lot of rabbits outside. That's not a problem. Look at this. Under these trees is a little tiny little bunny. It's so cute. That one must be a baby. This book does not start with once upon a time. It starts with a sound. It starts with thump, thump, thump. Now what is that? said Miss Molly. Thump, thump, thump. There it is, said Miss Molly. Hmm, I'd better go see what it is. Miss Molly went to her door. She opened it and there sat a fat rabbit. Goodness me, said Miss Molly. Where did you come from? The rabbit looked at Miss Molly. Then she looked at the open door. Oh, well, said Miss Molly. Come in if you like. Hmm. The bunny wants to come and live with her. But before she even finished saying it, the rabbit was already in. Look at it. Look at that picture of a rabbit. I will feed you, said Miss Molly. Then you must go home. So Miss Molly fed the rabbit. All right, she said, out you go. She opened the door, but the rabbit hopped the other way. The rabbit has decided it's going further into the house. It's not going to leave. So you've come to stay, said Miss Molly. Well, you may stay tonight, but tomorrow you must go. I will fix a box for you. And she did. The rabbit hopped into the box. Miss Molly went to bed. Soon she was asleep. Now she has a rabbit as a pet. I wonder if there'll be a problem. The next morning, Miss Molly got up. She went to the kitchen the rabbit was still in the box. Did you have a good night? said Miss Molly. The rabbit said nothing. Here's your breakfast, said Miss Molly. The rabbit did not move. You are a lazy one, said Miss Molly. So she went over to the rabbit's box. And when she looked in, what a surprise she had. What do you think? What do you think she found? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? This is what she saw. Look how sweet. She saw not one rabbit. She saw a box full of rabbits. Oh dear, said Miss Molly. Baby rabbits, lots of baby rabbits. No wonder you wanted to stay. Miss Molly shook her head. Babies need lots of care, even baby rabbits. I will have to let them stay, she said. So all of the rabbits stayed. Oh, taking care of baby rabbits, what a cute idea. But it was some work. At first it wasn't much bother. The babies only needed their mommy's milk and their mother had plenty of that. But rabbits grow fast and soon they wanted real food. Miss Molly had to buy it for them. Carrots and lettuce and corn, cabbage and apples and turnips. 
It was a lot of shopping she had to do. My, said Miss Molly, my rabbits eat more than I do. I must do something. Maybe I should get rid of some rabbits. Then she looked at them. Oh, but they're so cute, she said, and they're still little. So she kept all of them. This picture is completely adorable. Some of the babies are on Miss Molly's lap and some of the babies are down on the rug with their mommy. And that could have been the end of the story, except you know what happens with babies, right? They grow. The rabbits did not stay little. Before long, they were everywhere. They were on the chairs and under the chairs. They were on the bed and under the bed. They were even in the bathtub. Oh dear, said Miss Molly. This is what they looked like in the top. I have too many rabbits. They're grown up now. I really should get rid of them. She thought about it. Then she shook her head. No, she said, I can't do that. I like my rabbits. So even though they were a lot of work, she kept them all. But that's not the end of the story either because the rabbits grew up all the way. And then one morning, Miss Molly had a big surprise. Oh no, she said, more baby rabbits? Whatever will I do? Miss Molly could not decide. So she did nothing. And then the new little rabbits grew. Rabbits were everywhere. They were on the chairs and under the chairs. They were on the bed and under the bed. They were in the bathtub and in the laundry basket. Now she really has too many rabbits. Miss Molly could hardly walk around in her house. Then one day she opened the bread box. Out popped a rabbit. That does it, she said. I've had quite enough. These rabbits must go. Do you have a bread box at your house? Not too many people have them nowadays. Some people put their bread in the refrigerator to keep it fresh. But this was a box so that the bread wouldn't go stale. And somehow a rabbit got in there because rabbits were everywhere in her house, right? Miss Molly looked out the window. She saw a boy. Tommy, she called. Do you like rabbits? Oh, yes, said Tommy. Do your friends like rabbits, said Miss Molly. Sure, said Tommy. Everybody likes rabbits. Good, said Miss Molly. Go get your friends. I have rabbits for all of you. Yippee, said Tommy. He ran off. Now that was a good idea, said Miss Molly. Children love pets. They will be good to my rabbits. Miss Molly sat down to wait. Soon her doorbell rang. She opened the door. There were piles of children. Oh, that's good. Do come in, said Miss Molly. You may choose your rabbits. Some children chose one rabbit. Some chose two. Some even chose three. Every rabbit was taken and every child was gone. Well, that seems good, but is that the end of the story? Hmm. Well, Miss Molly bustled around. She cleaned and she cleaned and soon her little house sparkled. Miss Molly made herself a cup of tea. How nice it is to be alone, she said. Now, if I decided to bring home an animal, I think my mommy would say something to me about that. My mommy might say, you have to ask before you decide to have a pet because when you have a pet, everyone in the family has to work together to take care of that pet. My mommy would never let me have a pet without asking her first. Hmm. Well, Soon, the doorbell rang. Miss Molly went to the door. There were piles of children and piles of rabbits. Each child said, my mama said no. 
and again there were rabbits everywhere. Oh dear, said Miss Molly, now what shall I do? Hmm. She thought about it, and then she nodded her head yes. The zoo, she said, they have lots of animals. I will give them my rabbits. So Miss Molly called the zoo, but the zoo said no. They did not need any rabbits. They only needed wild animals. Hmm. It looks like at the zoo they have a giraffe and a hippo and animals from far away, but maybe rabbits are just regular animals. Oh no, things are getting crazy at Miss Molly's house. Everywhere Miss Molly stepped, there was a rabbit. Something had to be done. Miss Molly thought until she went to sleep, and then she woke up with an idea. I will put an ad in the newspaper, she said, and she did. It said, rabbits for free. Then Miss Molly waited. Finally, the doorbell rang. It was the butcher. I will take those rabbits, he said. All of them, said Miss Molly. Yes, said the butcher. Lots of people like rabbit meat to eat. <gasps> no, 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 said Miss Molly. My rabbits are pets. Nobody is going to eat them. She slammed the door. Whew. The butcher is someone who sells meat. I'm really glad that those little bunnies didn't end up being meat. Well, the next day, the doorbell rang again. Miss Molly opened the door. A man stood there. A big truck was parked outside. I would like your rabbits, said the man. Are you going to eat them, said Miss Molly. Oh, no, said the man. What will you do with them, said Miss Molly. <laughs> Bunnies were looking out the window at the truck. Well, I have an island, said the man. It has grass and trees. It even has a stream, but it has no rabbits, and I like rabbits. Grass, trees, a stream, said Miss Molly. My rabbits would like that. Then she nodded. You may have my rabbits, she said. So they loaded the truck with the rabbits, and Miss Molly waved goodbye to them. Oh. That sounds really nice, that island they're going to go live on. Well, that worked out. Just then, as the man drove away, Miss Molly felt something rubbing against her leg. Miss Molly looked down and there was a fat gray cat. Oh, I've always wanted a cat, said Miss Molly. You may come in. A cat is no trouble at all. Miss Molly went to bed happy. Her rabbits had a good home and she had a nice new pet. Look at that cat. Oh, look at that little cat's face. I'm sure there won't be trouble with a cat. The next morning, Miss Molly got up. She went to the kitchen and the cat was still in the box. Did you have a good night, said Miss Molly. The cat said nothing. Here's your breakfast, said Miss Molly. The cat did not move. You are a lazy one, said Miss Molly. And she went over to the box and she threw up her hands. Oh no, she said, for the box was filled with kittens. I do have problems, said Miss Molly. I wonder if that man with the island likes cats. Then Miss Molly shook her head. But I will have to grow them up first. Babies do need lots of care, and these are so cute. Miss Molly smiled. Then she went to heat some milk for the mother cat. Ah, oh, good thing Miss Molly likes animals. Do you like pets? Maybe you have a pet. Or maybe you want a pet. Maybe you'll have what you want when you're older. I love animals. The ones that I have and the ones that live outside and all of them, especially bunnies and cats. 
Thanks for coming to Story today. I'll see you again another day.